Hi, it's Beth from Sweet Tots Hair Design and today I'm going to show you the crossover bun which is a really quick and easy alternative to your normal bog standard bun that you do every morning using the donut. So don't forget you can subscribe to my channel Sweet Tots Hair Design by clicking on the bottom right hand side of your screen. So to start the style you want to put the hair into a ponytail. So Emma's got fairly short layered hair and you can do it on this length hair but it is easier on longer hair. So you're going to be dividing this into four, but I don't want you to do that and then that. You need to take a section from the top and try and get them fairly even, these sections. And then you just want to pin that section out your way for now. So next you want to take another section from underneath. And then just pin that one out of your way for now just while you're dividing up your side sections. And then this one, you just divide in the middle like that. And again, pin one of them out of your way. And now take this one out and just pin this one out your way. So essentially you've got your four sections, but with the top one unpinned now. So next you want to be rolling up this section of hair but just to give it a bit of structure, just spray with a little bit of texture spray or hairspray, whatever you find easier. Get a little back combing brush or comb and just give that section a little bit of a fluff and it'll just make it easier to roll up. You haven't got to do this, especially if you're doing it on a child. Then flip it over and smooth out that top section of it. So once you've smoothed it out, I just want you to wrap it around your fingers like that and then hold on to it and then don't pin it like that, sort of just open the edges up a little bit. Then you're going to get your grip, open it up with your fingers and half the grip's going to catch the hair on the head and the other half's going to sit on top of that roll. So catch it at the side and then just use your finger just to push it through that roll and then you can just use your fingers just to pull that edge back over so you don't see the grip and then just repeat on the other side. So the next section you're going to do in exactly the same way but the bottom section so again just spray it, back comb it, roll it and pin it. If you want to, you can just go with a little bit of spray, either with a comb or your fingers. Just really get that sleekness to the rolls. So next what I want you to do is just very carefully take out these other two sections. And this is where the style gets a little bit more interesting. So you're going to take the right section and you're going to give it again a little bit of a back comb, but on this side, not underneath. So just give it a little bit of structure to the hair and then you're going to take it across this way making sure that you can't see any of that back comb. So as with the other pieces take it across and you're going to just curl that in on itself again. Use your fingers to open it up a little bit, get it to the shape you like, and then you're going to pin it. And lastly, again with this section, so a little spray, a little bit of back comb, just be careful of the other strands that you've already done. Just give it a little bit. So once you've finished the style, just take a minute just to sort of move any bits that you want because you can move this hair a little bit now it's pinned. So if you can see one of the grips, you can sort of push it in a bit more, 
use your fingers just to open up that bun. I mean, I'm quite obsessive compulsive about flyaways, but this style also looks really cute on curly hair. And just don't try and smooth it out, just leave the curls as they are and do exactly the same process. So that's the crossover bun finished. I'll just give you a quick spin from the back. I hope you enjoyed it and look out for my next video and thank you so much for subscribing.